video? Getting video right now. Excellent. Thank you very much. You guys recognize that? Yeah. There's the guy who makes them. Yes. Yeah. Martin, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. This is Joel Delling. I'm here. Jewish Driggers. here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and it don't care. Oh, machined aluminum. Look at this. Open top. It's so rigid. Nothing. <laughs> Made by this guy. <laughs> He's obsessed with his mini. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, that one had he loves his candy apple red. Right. Cool, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. So here we are at Murph. Here's Juan Howe, new Duplicator 9. Very pretty looking printer. Working on one of the open RCF1 cars. 3D PPGH. Lots of cool goodies. And a stupidly ridiculous, awesome, wicked, cool, ridiculously tall Delta. Ah, someone else likes the Ender. Open builds. Maker box. All the luscious samples. A Pyro's awesome, gorgeous display box. Crucible Labs. Somebody's cool toys. Somebody else likes 3D Solutech. Form Labs. Auto Maker. Printed solid. I love the helmet too. It's awesome on Twitter. Critters playing with printers. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Big giant dragon. Ruby's cute. What the heck? What's the deal with this? Continuous printing. I didn't know you could print at an angle like that. You couldn't until I wrote all the software. No, I mean... Filament. They make these cool multicolor filaments. That's cool. He took a Tronxy X1 and gave it a super long Y axis. Yeah. I think what they do is they. For swords. How are we doing? They made a sword printer. It's on 
That's cool. Cool skateboard, SLS. Portal gun. Wow. That is cool. Celsius and quite viscous and having like an in feed pressure of eight bars. Okay. Cooking glitter. That's awesome. Very fast. I can tell you that. Who plays Guitar here? None of us. Well, I bought new switches for it. We had a deeper foot press. Now I've got a good working pedal. Pretty. Well, isn't that an interesting movement method? This is the pipe machine I was hearing about. That's cool. Backpack printer. Yep. How cool is that? Rockets. Yeah. Top secret coating. This fired a rocket motor. And the PLA survived. That is cool. Why isn't this focusing? There you go. Man, that is cool. Hypersonic rocket motor. 125 pounds of thrust for about three seconds. There's five motors going in through the single nozzle system. Wow. And that's the exact one you just saw. Hi. Hello! Ah. This guy prints really big and little stuff. <laughs> really big, nothing in between, though. <laughs> this my pick printer. I have my own model. Here's E3D Online's tool changing critter. Here's tool changing critter. Look at that. I want these fans. That's cool. Luby with the kitty cats! Oh yes, love the kitty cats! Look at this. But yeah, it's timing. Um, no, no kind of annoyance. It's a fly the fishing wheel. Is, the firmware for the panel doesn't change that often. No. The, the latest version and is this, this one, and it has some integrated features wheel. like baby Watch stepping, this. and um, you can get right to the macros you know, directly from yeah. it. It's an eccentric gear. I do like that the developers on the forum. It slides in here. Yeah. Yeah, David's a great guy. And uh, Tony Block, who is one of his partners who started Duet. Um, I want to make a giant one of these to roll filament. He's here. Yeah. Um, I'm helping them out. They invited <laughs> Electronics. 
Exactly. It's got nice. neodymium magnets inside. And if you touch the braille on there, uh, that black conductive portion right underneath the letter, actually. So if a kid's learning braille, okay. it gets oh, audio feedback okay. when you touch it. It uses capacitive Oh, is this hard? Well, it's not plugged in right now. Okay. Um, but I have videos online of uh, kids using it. So it'll either say B, A, G. It can tell you the dot numbers. So, for example, B, 1, 2, that's the dot configuration for braille. Or it can sound it out. It will do, but as you're touching, okay. just like kids learning phonics will use. Also, oh, as they're touching, they can associate the sound. Exactly, associative oh. learning. Because it'll stick better. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's my. So uh, does this say this? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this was my. Uh, I piloted this uh, prototype like this at the Perkins School for the Blind, and kids who hadn't been able to learn Braille were able to use it using this device. You know, kids who are blind with autism say yeah. it's really hard for them to take instruction from someone. But um, they're very good with tactile stuff. And, and, and this is the crazy associative yes. audio, you're kind of doing your own thing, um, and they learn really quickly. Very cool. So my next gen is coming. This guy here. A little more uh, compact. Yeah, there you go. Compact. More letters too, right? Single PCB, same amount, uh, but it's re getting ready for injection molding. Nice. So, oh, and, uh, wow. Custom electronics. Dude, that's amazing. So I'm trying to, uh, you know, raise the funding to do all of that. So you're literally right. doing 3D printing for prototyping for production. Exactly. Awesome. For 3D printed injection molds potentially for the small time. And this looks nice too. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm new, so I started. This is actually made in Tinkercad right here. I love so Tinkercad. If anyone doubts Tinkercad, you can make something that I complex love with it. And then this is Fusion 360. Very, very cool. What's your website? <laughs> Speak the, up. Thereadread.com. You can see uh, videos of kids using it. Uh, you can make a donation trying to get this thing moving forward. I really appreciate it. Thereadread.com. Yes. Very cool, dude. <laughs> At this beautiful finish. And this is using the Harry method. Look at that! Yeah, what he did here is the, it's actually two STL files that he did. So the the shape is one STL file, and then the outside is another, and he sent different different. Uh, so that for the, the actual image, it's like a bunch of walls, and then the outside is just regular infill. So it sort of pops out the uh, the design. It's tough to photograph. Not really. There we go. Look at that. Ready for this? <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> No 
know who this is? Hi, ben Heck. it's also... me. I'm here in Indiana. <laughs> Def You've been glittered. That's it. You're done. That's it. Glitter forever. Oh, that's so cool. Finds out where its home location is. It uh, literally runs the steppers until they skip steps, and then it knows where zero is. But then it's also got a kinematic model and where it knows how to move up and down without uh, the snark or non rotation I guess. Hard to explain. What's your channel? It's called You Don't For What on YouTube. Oh, wait a minute. That sounds familiar. Yeah? I may have seen one of your videos. And then a select Yeah, just It's cool. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> the tables, your prints are awesome. This here's Tom. That's awesome. And I finally got to see your blue. Someone's printing your blue over there. Oh, it's stunning. Nice. Oh, very cool. Thank you. Cool. Now just do a video. Sorry. I did that again. And uh, this is uh, what I call Bob. It's just a little uh, STEM experiment here. So, you got one of those inside there, and it's got a hole in it to keep an air bubble trap inside. And what do you think happens when you squeeze the bottle? Uh, down, up, down, up. Look at that, and I can hold it right in the can middle I there. Have your attention, please. Look at that. Please check your badges. That is freaking amazing. That is too cool. That is number one. That is cool. The force of electronics and software. <laughs> These are not the drones you're looking for. Do we know what drone that is? Nope. <laughs> Do you need a hand? <laughs> It'll run out of batteries one day. Ooh! That sounded like it might have bit you! First blood, now it's gonna chase you. <laughs> you guys know who this is? This is the guy who made the Benchies. <laughs> Probably the most popular print on the entire planet. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Close enough. Thank you. Thanks. That was PG. All right, right. Well, that was more stuff in strength. That. The only that. That. Three D printed Pusa. Right. <laughs> Who made this? This guy made it. Who are you? Country Three D. Awesome. My name's Walter, by the way. But What's your website? Country Three D dot com. Nice. And K U N T R Y. Oh my God, that's so freaking cool.
And it works. Oh yeah, what? And it printed these parts? Well, no, it printed these parts. These parts had to be printed before I could put it together. Yeah. So what did this print? What did this print? Yeah. All of these parts and all of this stuff that's around it. Are you serious? Not the Adelina, but like the T, all of those. Actually, this was printed today. Oh my god, dude! With no cooling shroud because I forgot it. But like the uh, hairy line. I mean, these are not good prints until you realize that the entire printer is plastic. They're great. Well, holy crap, dude! Not only that, the printer itself was printed on an A-net. Oh jeez. A hundred and twelve hour long print. 112 hour A net print to print a Prusa. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Hi, I'm Michael Clauser, and I've written some code to 3D print a Slinky. So you'll see it's zigzagging between the inner radius and the outer radius, back and forth and back and forth, while slowly increasing in Z height and. Um, rotating around it, around circle by circle. I, I realized that I couldn't get a slicer to do this, so I wrote some Java that outputs custom G-code. So this is basically a vase print that includes X and Y movement? Yes. That's awesome. Now, let me show you guys what he's done. Actual slinking slinkies. <laughs> Watch this. That's incredible. It, it, it actually slinks. Incredible. No perimeter. It's basically just doing the back and forth as it does a vase print. It's almost like a vase print that includes a wiggle. And so no slicer does that, so he actually made Java code to generate the G code commands to make that movement. That is genius, dude. Thank That's you. Awesome. Look at this. He also has this thicker one that I think would be a functional mechanical spring. Like, this is actually impacting with substantial force. And I could stretch this out to four or five times its length, and it still comes back 100%. Meaning people might be able to actually use this in mechanical motion systems. That's amazing. Look who I'm with! <laughs> yeah! Okay. I will have one eventually. <laughs> Who's here? Jeff is here! <laughs> I missed you running the go-kart, man. I wanted to see that. No more purge towers. No more purge towers. Fuck the purge towers. That's a lot of free parts! You're perfect, bro. <laughs> One half horsepower. Human's about a quarter horsepower. Look at the legs. Watch out, deer! <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you, Chris. Hey, the winner, the winner. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
a commercial mount. I can I can homebrew. I can do a, a 3D printed and wooden and then open source mount. But I built this for my girlfriend, and if I build a mount for it, if it breaks, I have to support it. <laughs> and frankly, I don't really want to do that. Bring up the mega car. A 3D PN mega car. The pieces. They've got the packing all figured out. Nice.